بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم التسليم كثيرا ما بعد فسلام الله عليكم ورحمته وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين consider us from the blessed from the fortunate that Allah رب العالمين has granted us an extension of life such that we have reached the month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, this month that is a gift beyond gifts from Allahu Rabbul Alameen, a month that is priceless in comparison to every other month of the year. The opportunities that Allahu Ta'ala gives us within this month are unbelievable. And so this is why, bidni lahi Rabbil Alameen, we want to make sure that we are worshipping Allah Jalla wa ala through all the different beautiful means that He has given us. And one of them is what we're going to be doing with this course specifically insha'Allah, where we are better focusing on Allah Azza wa Jal, worshipping Him through His book of the Qur'an, His final revelation for humanity's guidance. And to do that, we're going to be focusing on a book, or a booklet really, uh, by a Dr. Yasir ibn Ismail Radi, who is a Ustad Musharik fi dirasat al-Qur'aniyya bil Madinat al-Munawwara. So he is an associate professor in Qur'anic studies. And this is in the blessed city of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the book's name is uh, Al-Bitaqat. Al-Bitaqat. And it basically means like, like a card or cards, like index cards. And what he's done uh, very beautifully is that for each surah, he has basically focused on eight things. Eight things. The first is, he tells us how many verses, uh, pardon me, how many, yes, how many ayat, how many verses are in that chapter. Secondly, the name or different names by which the chapter is known. Thirdly, the specific reason or what's known, sabab uh, tasmiyah, why it's been, you know, why it has that name or carries that name. Uh, fourth, uh, pardon me. Fourth, he tells us asma'uha. So the second was the, 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 the meaning of its name. The third is the reason why it's named as such. Fourth is the names that it has. Fifth is the main objectives that the, the chapter, the surah covers. Sixth is sabab nuzuliha, the reason which it was, for which it was revealed. Seventh is fadluha, what there are of virtues and merits that are mentioned about the chapter. And last but not, uh, but not least, he tells us about munasabatuha. And he specifically focuses here on one thing, which is munasabatu awali surati bi How the, the, the chapter as a whole, its beginning, we see that it comes to a full circle and closure at its end. So the beginning of the surah and the end of the surah, how they tie in together. And the second, is munasabat the surati lima qablaha mina surah. So how the chapter is associated and related to the verse, pardon me, to the chapter that comes before it. So these are the eight focuses, and inshallah ta'ala, as we'll come to see for each and every one of these chapters, how Allah Rabbul Alameen so beautifully has subhanAllah given us his final revelation in a way that will hopefully increase for us our love for him subhanahu wa ta'ala, our love for his book of the Qur'an, and inshallah ta'ala in that newfound appreciation that we increase in our faith, we increase in our devotion, and ultimately, we are increased in the guidance of what Allah ta'ala has given through this book. We ask him jalla wa'ala to make this a blessing. Allahumma ameen. Wa salli lahumma wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alameen.